night, millions of Americans in the southwest are under flood warnings after monsoon rains drenched communities across parts of six states, North Texas getting the worst of it. The Dallas-Fort Worth area suffering from a months-long drought was pummeled with more than nine inches. That is the second heaviest rainfall in the city's history. It was the equivalent of a summer's worth of rain in one 24-hour period. Floodwaters rushed through the streets, submerging vehicles. And we're learning tonight a woman was swept off a bridge and has died. While floodwaters create nightmares on the ground, airlines are severely impacted, with more than 7,000 flights in the U.S. delayed or canceled. More than half of all the flights out of Dallas-Fort Worth Airport today have been delayed. We have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Omar Villafranca is going to start us off from outside Dallas. Good evening, Omar. Good evening. That rain fell overnight into today, Nora, and it prompted flash flooding like you're seeing right here and dozens of water rescues. It was all part of a system that hammered much of the Southwest. Late today, emergency crews rescued families with children in heavily flooded Seagoville, Texas, while rains and flash flooding submerged houses, cars, and even trapped drivers in and around Dallas. But the current's so strong going past my house, you, you, it'll wash you away. This woman was pulled to safety after the road flooded with little warning. I thought I was gonna die. I was just panicking because I just wanted to get, away, get out of my car and get out of the water. Dallas Fire Rescue responded to close to 200 vehicle rescues in just 24 hours. All of a sudden we were stopped and then I see a car just like floating towards the wall and so like, oh shoot. Just a few weeks ago, triple digit temperatures and drought conditions were baking North Texas, drying up the Trinity River in Dallas. But overnight, rain pounded the area, filling up the river basin. She said the water's coming in, so I didn't think that was a I thought it was going to calm down, but the rain keep coming. Homes were also damaged. The rain so powerful, this apartment in downtown Dallas quickly ended up with two feet of water. Once the flooding receded, the damage became clearer. Out west in Utah's Zion National Park, torrential rains turned hiking paths treacherous, putting park goers at risk. <laughs> this person was filmed clinging to a large tree trunk in fast moving floodwaters. And the search continues for a 29-year-old woman from Tucson, Arizona, who was hiking with her friends when the storm hit. There are more than 20 people working on this search and rescue operation, and they're working all along the length of Zion Canyon. Dallas County just declared this area a disaster. Now, the floodwaters are starting to recede. That's the good news, and folks here are hoping that the worst is over. Nora? Devastating for so many. Omar Villafranca, thank you.